What a week it has been for rollerblading. The godfather himself, the airman, Chris Edwards, is on Instagram, and his account is already off to an amazing start. You had multiple great VODs that got posted on YouTube for free this week, and a handful of great products released. By now, I'm sure you've heard about all of them from your favorite rollerblading news channels, but we are gonna talk about one of them because 20 years ago, Shima left USD. But before we dive into the mixed feelings surrounding the re-release of the Shima One Skate, let's do some skating. Today I am out here in Fargo, North Dakota at Village West Skate Park. It's a small little low budget neighborhood skate park. Uh, a couple of fun little things to play around with. Some of the stuff's built a little funny, but you know, it happens. But there is a, looks like a 15 foot knee high P-rail, which is all I really need in life. And uh, we got the place to ourselves for the moment. So let's go see if we can have a little fun. <laughs> So last week in Nashville, I came to the realization that I do not skate fakie often enough. And because of that, I'm awful at in-spin tricks. So we move over to the flat bar real quick for a little while and uh, put in some work on those. might expect with a cheap neighborhood park the metal that this rail is made out of is that type of metal that just does not slide no matter what you do to it I've put so many layers of wax on this thing and it just won't slide so I'm gonna move from focusing on sliding the whole thing to just locking the tricks and getting enough of a slide out of it for it to count today because I am just absolutely fighting this thing right now Even though just a couple of videos ago I was talking about how I would love to get my hands on all the old classic Razor Shima boots, I am not going to be ordering the Shima 1 re-release for two reasons. Uh, I don't need to be spending any more money on skates for the foreseeable future, and I may have already spent a little bit of money on a nostalgic purchase this year. And the second one is that my feet just don't fit in Colts the way that I like them to. Now, I, like most, was very excited when I saw that the Shima 1 was going to be re-released, even to the point of adding them in my cart on oakcity.com, only to close the browser out, because like I said, I'm not buying them. I am not going to buy them. God, they look good. However, like everything in rollerblading, there are people who are very upset about this. And some of this frustration is completely understandable. It seems like over the years, rollerblading just refuses to change. We're stuck in the past keep rewarding the same old talent and never recognizing or rewarding the up and comers, the new talent that keeps coming into the industry for their efforts. The whole thing kind of reminds me of back when I was skating rims in like 2009, early 2010s, and they had the most incredible amateur team. You had Nils, Josiah Blee, Mark Voda, I think is how you pronounce it, and the whole rest of the team was incredible, but it seemed like none of those guys were ever ever gonna get a pro boot because they all just kept going it was either a team boot or a happy boot and that was it now Nils went on to get a couple of pro boots from rims as happy was stepping back and Josiah went on to get one before he left but for the longest time I mean those guys were killing themselves and it seemed like they were just never gonna break off of the AM team and even be listed as a pro on the team and while yes no one is rollerblading for the money and that should not be your motivation 
it is nice to know that you know if you put in the work that one day you might get the recognition to have your name on a boot and be recognized for all the effort that you have put in. And to Razor's credit, they've started to do that. The Derek Henderson boot was a definite step in the right direction. That guy has been rocking razors forever. And I hope that there will be more of that coming down the line here. Now, of course, people are gonna be mad that Razor's is charging $300 for what is basically a cult boot with an upgraded liner in it. And say that it's just a money grab on Razor's part. But Razors is a business. They are in this to make money. So my hope is that they are gonna use this giant return of the roller boomer, all this interest, sell them this nostalgic skate, and then use that money to fund new projects. Maybe they'll use this profit to do another run of SLs or a pro shift model. Maybe Andrew Broom or Lord knows Jeff Howard deserves another boot for all his efforts. But before you guys go throw away your Razors boots and burn all your Razors merch, Hang in there, because maybe, just maybe, there's something coming down the pipe. Maybe one of the young guns is up next for a pro level boot. Now back to the skating. All right, after putting a disrespectful amount of wax on this thing and skating it for a few more minutes, I've got to slide enough to have some fun on it. So move back to the original plan and uh, skate this flat bar for a little while. That is going to do it for this week. Let me know your thoughts on the re-release of the Shima 1 boot in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, goodbye.